What's up guys, so today I'm just going to be doing a little um, custom segment, so I'm going to be trying to do these videos more often, just weekly uploads of me doing small things like deep cleans, customs, restorations, just anything really. Um, so I'm just going to be repainting these Nike Air Force from blue to green. I've already given this shirt a deep clean, let me know if you want a video on that how to clean the white laces and the outsole without um, faulty volume cream like if it's not sunny or anything so yeah I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is tell you the process I'm gonna do and then get into it so that I don't have to keep talking so first what I'm gonna do is I've started already to remove the paint so I'm gonna remove the paint from the shoe to make sure that the color sticks properly and the pattern comes clear because I say you do this and there's still paint over here there'll be a lot of um, uneven blotches especially because this is a flat color so I don't know if you can see here there's like a ridge and all that so what I'm gonna do is strip all the paint first I have my pre-mixed paint which is just Angelus olive green mixed with some brown and some white because the olive was a bit too green and then yeah I'm just gonna lay down about three to four coats five if needed and then I'll see about applying the finisher because it's already quite shiny and I don't know I'll see I'll see how it goes so yeah let's get into it Okay, so I got to this point, I took all the paint off except here because it's too close to the tick, the corners, um, and I don't want to stain the tick with the acetone, and also it'll be hard to get into the, like, the tight corners, so the paint will come out lumpy and not smooth, so what I'm going to do is leave that like that, um, probably just do a white base coat over it, so that the colours will be even on all the panels. So, let's get into it. So I got the white base coast down. Now um, I really suggest if you're gonna do a recustom or a repaint, 
to leave these areas painted already if they're smooth because I've done repaints before where I've tried to get everything off and there's been paint left over in the corners and the colour just comes out so um, the colour doesn't come out flat so um, you want to use Angela's flat white just because it's a bit um, more tactful when it dries so I have a bit more grip to the new paint um, and everything will just come out a lot flatter don't try and go in there tight to the corners and all that unless you want to paint these bits over because once again the Angelus white doesn't match up to the white of the swoosh so if you get blue on the swoosh and on here and paint over it the the white's going to be off from the sole the heel tab and the tongue so you kind of want to just keep those as they are just do the gap like I said and now let's get on to laying the green okay so this is Angelus olive olive green but it's my own mixture so Dwayne what is the mixture I don't know I just done it um, until I was happy with it I added like three or four drops of brown and drops of white I don't know how many but I just done it till I was happy with the color you know this is a custom I'm not trying to replicate a colorway so I just done it until I was happy with the color so I prefer this color to the original like I said it's more um, olive than green now so let's get into painting Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. 